Few things define a childhood more than eating mountains of candy, but these candies and the way we experience them have changed over time. Penny candy has been a favorite for kids since the late 1800s. The name penny candy came from the time when a piece of individually wrapped candy cost one penny, though much of the candy was actually sold by the pound rather than the piece. The first individually wrapped and sold penny candy came with the 1896 introduction of the Tootsie Roll. Following closely on the heels of the Tootsie Roll was Sweethearts, which were introduced by Necco wafers. Chocolate candies entered the penny candy market with Hershey Kisses in 1907. Penny Candy made its big debut around 1908 at F.W. Woolworth's Five and Dime stores, with the candy of choice being Tootsie Rolls. They were so popular that Woolworth's adopted an iconic penny candy aisle full of candies waiting to be scooped. Penny candy wasn't just about the candy, it was also about the experience. It was about grabbing a brown paper bag and trying to fill it to the brim with all the various choices of candy.
Popular penny candies introduced over the years included caramels, milk duds, Charleston chews, Mary Janes, Mike and Ikes, Smarties, Pixie Sticks, Root Beer Barrels, Bitto Honey, Bazooka Bubble Gum, Bottle Caps, Licorice, Jawbreakers, Candy Buttons, and Sugar Daddies. When the Woolworth chain closed its U.S. stores in the 1980s, much of the popularity of penny candy died out too. It has been decades since a penny would buy you anything. The penny candies of the 1950s and 60s are now sold by the box and cost a lot more than one cent. Today, there are still specialty penny candy stores in various locations, and grocery stores still sell candy in bulk. But the experience of penny candy as it was known is now just a memory. So what was your favorite go-to penny candy? <laughs>